we go? I've actually come up with a scratch. Probably um, what people respond to as customers coming to spring more than anything, um, more than the, the room, more than the food, is um, our system, uh, what we do around sustainability. Well, we sort of count them in and count them out. So, um, yes, it's more work because we have to be alert. But I think being alert and kind of um, taking care not to lose something, I think the planet absolutely deserves, uh, you know, a little bit more care and attention. I don't think it's too much to ask, and it hasn't been a problem for us. and then we blend them completely smooth in the vice mix and pass it. So it's a really smooth, chilled soup. It's got sherry vinegar in it, it needs that acidity because it's cool. Um, so yeah, we'll do one of those three things tonight. Yeah. Uh, What's this doing that for? You want to just have to talk about this is for mode delivery today. Um, if, does anyone, does everyone know sort of what, which everyone is? Could everyone say That's which one is? Some fennel blossom and some fernberry grass. Looks cool. Contrast with the walls. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, lots and lots and lots. It's quicker to change a gastro because everyone changes the container, and instead of wrapping it with cling film, you just pop a lid on it. You know, it's much quicker. You can see stuff in it quickly. Granted, you can't see through it, but I mean, it doesn't take much to look underneath a lid. Um, and it's yeah. I think everyone who's connected with food. If you're a chef or you're a producer, has some sort of connection to the to that natural world, and as soon as you hear how bad plastic is to the natural world, I think it makes sense to stop using it. So it's minimising as much as possible and encouraging a, re a reusable cycle, which is what we're doing now. Um, but we definitely send back food if it comes, for example, passion fruits uh, come individually wrapped in cling film. No, we just send them back. John Bailey is very well dressed, communications expert, husband is really in rows and black. She comes with a need. There's a constant dialect happening between um, us and them. We have an amazing store manager here, so he, he, he's the one that has to make the repetitive um, phone calls, but it is repetition. It's just like, it's not, you can't just have one conversation. It's gonna be the same thing over and over and over again until the change happens. The yellow wax thing, but it's also the little piece in the quarter and season now. So, um, we- Egg mimosas, I think, in the 70s were like, quite were they? Mm -hmm. So uh, not a day passes by for me when I'm not thinking about recycling. I avidly recycle at home. 
Um, I don't really drive a car anymore. Um, I'm constantly thinking about what do I really need to consume. So for me, the fact that spring has wonderful food is already fantastic, but their commitment to having um, a sustainable restaurant, removing plastic from everything they use, having, having a sustainable approach to their use of food as well, it's incredibly important for me and it makes it an even more joyful experience. That's just leadership by example, um, and that's what we need. We need more, we need less chat, we need more action. And Spring is a fantastic example of that. Everything they do here, from sustainability and their ethical sourcing and the provenance and the seasonality, and now they've addressed plastic. So it's, it's one big box in the whole sustainability issue that they have really got hold of. Nine percent of plastic has ever been recycled once, maybe twice. So that tells you straight away, 91 percent is actually single use. So the, the vast majority of plastic is something that is used once and will never become another thing. And that's really what we need to tackle. It's that whole, um, it, it's that whole issue of disposability.